Sup guys, welcome back to another video and to another Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL's Top 100 Players of 2021 episode. This is episode number 26. We're focusing on number 75. We're a quarter of the way through. His name is Loremi Tunsil. It's a name, funnily enough, I do recall. He's a tackle for the Texans. And without further ado, it's time we check him out. But first, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Sup guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is brought to you by none other than The Ridge, makers of the world famous and now YouTube famous, at least on my channel, Ridge Wallet. In less than two seconds, I'm going to show you exactly what the hype's all about. Nick Minnett. That's what it's all about. This wallet holds just as much as this, yet this one is bulky, ugly, and outdated. Now this one, being that it is a Ridge wallet, holds 12 cards, it's sleek, it's stylish, it holds cash. There's over 30 different styles, including this one, which is matte black, and this one, currently unopened, which is 18 karat gold. Not only does the look and design speak for itself, but the packaging is next level also. And when it comes to giving a gift, when it comes to even gifting yourself, when you deserve it, of course, that's a win. The whole entire wallet is the exact size of a credit card, and the way that you access the cards is to push up from the bottom. Let's be honest, 40,000 five-star reviews, they don't lie. There is a lifetime warranty on each of these wallets. If, for whatever reason, you're not happy, you have a 45-day window to receive a full refund. I've got to be honest, at first I was skeptical. I have seen it advertised on other YouTube channels, YouTube channels I respect, actually, and enjoy watching. So it was only a matter of time until I tried it out for myself. It's not only wallets. The website does have an entire range of products designed to carry less and live more. And that is a quote that I've actually lived by for years. Head over to www.ridge.com slash Jacob. Use code Jacob for 10% off. And I guarantee you, this will be, whether it's in black or 18 karat gold, the last wallet you'll ever use. Guaranteed. Because there's no way in the world I'm going to be carrying something like this round anymore. Cheers, guys. And enjoy the video. Right, guys, let's, uh, let's keep cracking on. And hear from none other than Packers linebacker, Zadarius Smith. Now, that's a face I remember. Thompson. Man, he talk a lot of smack. Great guy to go up against. Tons. He was like, Z, you not going to beat me. Just face it. And then when I did beat him. Boy, he just gives Laramie Tunsil the one, two. <laughs> I looked him dead in the What's he going to say now? In his face. <laughs> i tell you what, it'll be those moments between linemen. Well, not necessarily linemen. This is a linebacker versus a lineman. But still, it's those battles, right? It's those battles. It's those battles, those conversations. That back and forth between players, that when either of you does get it up on the opposite man in a particular play, you're going to let him know about it. Just gives Laramie Tunsil the one, two. I looked him dead in his face. I said, what now? <laughs> he said, you got me, you got me on that one. All jokes aside, man, that was one of the best tackles that I went up against this year. <laughs> He's nice. He nice. He been nice. You can he's strong. Great feet. Great limbs. Mm, tell you what, to contain a guy like Miles Garrett, he's doing bloody well. <laughs> Just dominate a guy like Tyron Matthew, he's doing even better. He's gonna pull. And he leads the way for the back. Good look at hole for Ooh, I like that. Got him punched too, so he could just punch, grab on you, punch, and then he could slide and move his feet with you. Yeah, him had some tough tussles back in there. Jeez, he's bouncing. He's bouncing up and down. In the SEC. College throwback. Coaches warning me all week. Not the old Laramie. Not to be able to get those old tricks you used to pull out of. Good battle, bro. I tell you what. I tell you what, speaking of the moments like within the game, another nice moment is after the game. And what I really want to tell you, looking at Miles Garrett, I have not seen arms that long that are that big in quite some time. Great feet and great leverage. Uh, he has great being too. Uh, he plays low center of gravity for 60 minutes. Few players on this countdown can quantify their value quite like... Look at his arms! And they're not... They're not fat. That's the thing. These guys, these linemen, are so huge. But they've still got cuts. Sh cuts in their shoulders, cuts in their triceps, biceps. 
they're not fat by any means. So when you think about that, you think about the engine that these guys must possess. It's uh, it's moments like these that you, as a as an American football player, would would thank, thank your lucky stars, that plays only go for about five seconds each, because in the game of rugby, when it's play after play after play after play, and you're 140 kilograms, <laughs> you're gonna struggle, you're gonna struggle. But the best of them are hybrids. Honestly, the best rugby players out there are hybrids. 140 kg is probably going to be a little heavy to be an elite rugby player. 120? Getting there. 110. 110, 6 foot 2. 10, 12, 14% body fat. Now there's a decent rugby player. Like Laramie Tunsil. In 2019, Tunsil was part of a trade that sent him from Miami to Houston for two first round picks a second round pick, and two players. Okay. The 2021 first round pick ended up being the third overall pick, which the Dolphins sent to San Francisco. With the third pick, the San Francisco 49ers select Trey Lance. The 49ers sent Miami their 12th overall pick, first and third round picks and sorry i'm gonna have to start this again <laughs> i've lost it i've completely and utterly lost it apologies let's try that again Laramie in 2019 Tunsil was part of a trade that sent him from miami to houston for two first round picks a second round pick and two players Okay. The 2021 first round pick ended up being the third overall pick, which the Dolphins sent to San Francisco. With okay. the third pick, the San Francisco 49ers select Trey Lance. The 49ers sent Miami their 12th overall pick, first and third round picks in 2022, and the 2023 first round pick. That's crazy, man. But wait, there's more. The Dolphins then sent the 12th pick and their 2022 first round pick to Philadelphia for the 6th overall pick. The In the end, they got an excitement machine. I'm not going to lie, Jalen Waddle. 6th pick, the Miami Dolphins select Jalen Waddle. The and he does waddle. Until trade is the trade that just keeps on giving. <laughs> Four first round picks. Yeah, it keeps on giving all these picks. I want to know players, not picks. So if we're talking about picks here, they have, they've had a fourth round pick in 2020, a first round pick in 2020, and in 2021, the, the year just gone, they've had a first and second round. The first round pick was Jalen Waddle. The second round pick, I've got no fucking clue. And they do have another first round pick in 2022 and another first round pick in 2023. And I'm going to say, as far as trades are concerned, to get any first round picks is actually a fairly decent result. You never know who's going to come through. It's going to give you, a, it's going to give you another choice to make, which could well be seen as a problem, but a good problem. talk about turning a lot into a lot more that's crazy man that his trade turned into that many pigs among the dolphin faithful the legend of the laramie tunsil trade continues to grow with the hopes that someday it will be properly immortalized in miami it's crazy to see that statue of him like holding his hand up or with all the pigs listed right there in front of the dolphin stadium that's funny i gotta understand that what? Lines in miami it was crazy to see that statue of him like holding his hand up or something with all the pig in Miami. <laughs> it's a bit of Photoshop, right? <laughs> it's crazy to see that statue. What, what? What is that? What is that statue normally? Hard Rock Stadium statue. And there he is now. None other. None other. Then the original, the OG, Dan Marino. Dan Marino. Now, if we go back to the Remy Tunzel, close, but but no, no cigar. <laughs> he could have fooled me though. Him like holding his hand up or something with all the pigs. Pretty legendary right trade. In front of the Dolphins stadium, that's funny. I can understand though because having a great offensive tackle is everything now. 
You ain't got to worry about too much pressure coming off, any sacks coming off from that end. It means a lot to a team. You can't take five step drops. You can't hold the ball a little bit longer because you got a guy out there that you can trust going to do his job. Be nice. And that's all you want is a tackle that you can trust to do their job. I'll put him up there as far as tackles go. Him and Trent. <laughs> well, all right, mate. Cheers for that. He just does everything the right way. Is that right? Sweet, guys. That was our look at Larimi Tunsil. Larimi Tunsil. LT. The next LT. He's a tackle. He's a tackle, no less. Left or right, I'm not sure. But there is one thing I do want to do before we leave, and that is check out his stats. Because with a frame like that, six foot five, three hundred and thirteen pounds. That's a that's one pretty damn solid tackle right there. He's twenty seven. He went in the first round of the two thousand and sixteen draft with the thirteenth pick from Ole Miss to Miami, as we heard. Then he was traded to the Texans. He's made two Pro Bowls since, 2019 and 20. And he is part of one of the most lucrative trades the Miami Dolphins have ever had. And with all that being said, that's it for another video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. In the next one, we're checking out number 74 on the list. Brad, sorry, James Bradbury. James Bradbury. He's a cornerback for the Giants. Cheers, guys. And peace out.